interesting. Memento Mori if the ninth line ate the sun. Ninth line ate the sun. That's the thing though, this is the password that we had before that I had a horrible time figuring out like the, I guess the user and the password for this thing. I need to like play through this other and oh my god I'm still salty that I can't continue forward until I get the answers for the other, <laughs> for the other place. <laughs> what is this place? A warehouse? Hey, look over there. Those doors are white. Shall we have a look then? These chromatic doors too. They're all the same though. Well, this one's locked. <laughs> this one won't open either. No look there. It looks like they have the same locking mechanism as the other chromatic doors. So this will be the next doors to open. We should go let the others know. Right. Al's not turned to go, but K stayed put. Is something wrong? No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Wait, you've been here before? I don't know. Perhaps I haven't been here. Only somewhere very similar. You mean the Floor A warehouse? Perhaps. An ambidex gate has been opened. Already? 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh yeah, I remember now. Somebody did open the door, didn't they? The hell? Someone else must have opened one of the AB gates. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. That would be the most logical explanation. In any event, we should return quickly. Yeah. Let's get going, guys. If I remember correctly, I think Dio was the one that did it. No, no, Clover. Right? No? Is it? I don't remember, actually. I really don't remember. It's been some time. It's been some... I'm trying to remember who it was this time around. Maybe it was Fi, actually. Now that I think about it. But somebody did open the chromatic doors. Can't even skip this part, even though we're just going back through the loading screens again. Warehouse A. Alright, let's see what kind of drama unveils this time. There's always some sort of drama happening. Sigma? Where's the Emoji's team? Are they not back yet? Nope. We were the first. Then wait a little longer before you open the AB gate. It wasn't us. I tried to stop him, but... Oh, come on, it's not like when we open the door really affects the matches, right? It's cool. No, it's not cool. And Dio come back at it again. Your team returned quite early, Dio. Did your investigation go smoothly? I guess. Which room did you guys go to? The treatment center. Treatment center? How's that different from the infirmary? Uh, there were these pod things. Oh, they went to the treatment center. We didn't have access to the treatment center. Look, just go see for yourself, all right? I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? You did. I saw it, too. After we opened the safe, you grabbed something out of it and put it in your pocket. Show us what you took. Uh, get away from me. Clover shoved her hand to Dia's pocket, and began to dig around. It should be in this one. Let go! Before Dia could push her away, Clover found what she was looking for. I knew it! Oh! An injection gun? <laughs> Label Nova says, no stigmite. What's this stuff for? I don't know, but I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Well then, well then, look at that, the injection gun 
the same one from the previous route so that the previous route that I took that offed Luna. What the hell, Dio? No, Dio couldn't have done it. No, I don't think so. No, no, no. The routes change every single time, so it's a different person every single time. Give it back. But that's where we were able to find it. Then where did where did Clover find hers? Then I found it, so it's mine. Hey. With a desperate lunge, you managed to grab the gun back from Clover before she had a chance to protest. Have any of you seen Quark? Anyone? Please! Quark? Did something happen to him? We found a pantry on the other side of the red door, but after we left, he just disappeared. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. You think he's lost? Don't you think you're being a little optimistic there? What? Come on, that little jerk's probably dead by now. We've already found one corpse, right? What the hell is wrong with you? How could you? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Whoa, simmer down there. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Well, even if it is, we should... We should be all looking for him. Yes! As we began to file out, I saw Alice staring intently into the corner of the warehouse. It seemed strange, but looking for Quark was my priority. I turned and headed toward the magenta door. And yet, and Alice finds something particularly interesting there. You remember hearing about that last time around? Alright, so I'm guessing we're gonna be searching everywhere for him. He has to be down, I would think, hmm, we should probably go back to the trauma room or the whatever, yeah, the trauma room. See if you can go there and check for it. Quark! Are you in here? Guess not. Damn. Let's try floor B then. That's the only place we can really go to at this point. But yeah, I wonder I do wonder I do wonder where Quark went! Oh my god, Quark! Ugh! I swear. I'm guessing this door he goes missing. Maybe he intended to go missing at a certain point. I don't know yet. I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of branching stories you can take for this game, so we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it takes us. That sound that the music, right? Is this something that's clawing at like a really rough surface? Something really thin. I don't know, it's just ah oh, such a weird noise. Timuja's team took the red door. They probably already searched that area pretty pretty thoroughly. Then maybe I'll try the blue door. Oh yeah, they said they unlocked the trauma room, didn't they? Let's go check that out, see what that's all about. Cause we haven't been there personally. Oh no, we're going back to rec room? Really? I guess we are. I guess we are. Quark! Where are you? He's not here either. Where the hell did he go? Oh, Sigma. Any luck? Nothing. Can't find him anywhere. I see. What about you? Never mind. If you found him, you'd have said something already. Indeed. I went to the treatment center, as well as the floor B warehouse. Treatment he center. That's what it was. Oh well. Let's head back to the floor A warehouse. Good idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Or perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps this is the route where something happens well, to Clark. Did you find him? Sorry. We couldn't find him anywhere. I... I see. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? Yeah. We're it. I mean, I'm guessing you guys didn't have any luck either. Yeah. No clues or anything. I don't get it. With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Quark is only a child. It's possible he's become trapped in a small, enclosed space. Well, wouldn't we at least be able to hear him calling for help? Yeah, you're right. Quark. Timiogi's shoulders slumped. He looked old, much older than he had when he met. See, that's the sound that 
It feels like nails being like clawed against something really thin but rough surface. Oh, it's such a it's such a creepy but cool sound. I like it. I like it a whole lot. But um, yeah, we know a little bit more about Tammy Oji, what exactly happened, why he brought Clark. Apparently, he brought Clark because of Zero, and that's why Clark is stuck there with him. So there's still a lot of information we don't know about Tammy Oji just yet, but I hope we get to learn about it. Could see tears glistening at the corner of his eyes. For just a moment, I saw in them all of his pain, fear, and despair. I felt like someone had put my heart in a vice. Then Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. Hey! You guys, come here! Dio? What are you standing around for? They're in the crew quarters! What? Just come on! Who are? Who are they? Something bad happen. <gasps> no. Are you serious? The first route that we took, the first door we took, everything went, for the most part, swimmingly. And then this route we take, everything is going 100 miles per hour. Oh. Well, shit. How? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Those are roaring in my ears, breathing, heartbeat, and my footsteps sound muffled, as if it was as if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Looking down, it was clear why. Something had been driven into her chest so far that only the hilt was visible, and the entire front of the body was covered in blood. No one could survive something like that. I forced myself to swallow this stinging lump in my throat and turned towards Luna. Unlike Alice, at first glance she seemed unarmed. As I reached for her neck to check for a pulse, however, I saw a red mark near her jawline. Nearby of the floor sat an injection gun. I already knew it was I knew I already knew what I would find, but I pressed my fingers to her neck and waited. Nothing. God damn it! God damn it! Ah! Why? Why are you killing off everybody? Already, so fast, Jesus. They're, they're dead. My god, what on earth happened here? That bastard killed them! Who? Whoever it was that killed the old lady in the A-B room. You saying this mystery person killed Luna and Alice? Maybe only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. Or perhaps they killed one another. Luna stabbed Alice in the chest, after which Alice attacked her with the injection gun. That's pretty far-fetched. Look. Look at Alice's clothes. No sign of a struggle. I don't think they fought. Then were they killed somewhere else and then brought here? No. If that were the case, there would be much less blood. I guess that's true. Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Any one of us could have done it. You mean, the killer's one of us? The only person I'm not seeing here is Clover. Wait, was Clover with us? Do you think there's someone else in here? Well... Do you think that Zero Senior killed these two, as well as the old woman? Hmm... Oh, give me a break! How can you just sit around here talking? No point in making a fuss. Are you fucking kidding me? One of us is a killer. I can't think of a better reason to make a fuss. You do realize you're the most likely suspect, don't you? Excuse me? You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse. Then you kill Alice and Luna. You pretended to be the first to find them and... Are you saying I did this? 
I'm just saying it's a possibility. You don't need to get so worked up about it. He did have the injection. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. So if you don't vote, you choose a set to ally. I guess that means Luna's vote will be ally for this round. Yes, it does. Perhaps that outcome is what the killer was after. They killed Alice and Luna for that? Who would Luna's opponent be? Quark and myself. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. You want to say that to my face? Yeah. You killed her so you could get a few more points in the A-B game. Are you an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against K, not me! Uh, not quite. Even without his partner Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast a vote as he wishes. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong and they... True. I suppose that is a possibility. But we are engaging in pure speculation here. There is little to no evidence to support any of this. Well, we should probably head back to the warehouse. We should take their bracelets with us then. Huh? Does it really matter anymore? Without their bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. You're pretty calm, pal. Too calm. You did it, didn't you? A sterling deduction. I await your further insight. He wears a mask, therefore he is guilty, perhaps? What did you just say? Are you fucking with me? Knock it off. Is there really any point to arguing about this? Agreed. We aren't getting any younger here. I apologize. We should return to the warehouse. Alice... Come on, Clover. We gotta go. No! I'm not going anywhere! I can't just leave her here! Clover. If you don't vote, Dio might get out. Huh? He's got 6 BP right now. If you don't vote, you will automatically ally. And I bet my left arm he'll pick Betray. That'd be 3 points, which will put him at 9. Once he's got that, there's nothing stopping him from opening the number 9 door. I'll try and pick Ally, of course. But Dio's not an idiot. He'll try and stop me or get in my way somehow. Dio will have 9 points? What are you gonna do, Clover? If you stay here, you might be letting Alice's killer get away. Fine. I'll do it. There's no way I'm going to let him get 9 points. Good. Let's go. Wow, Fi got her. Good girl. There we go. In this kind of situation, you just gotta get him to calm down just for a little bit, just for a second, just so you can do the subordinate game. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Now here's a question, right? While everybody does the vote, well, technically, Timioji doesn't really have to vote, he can actually technically select Betray. And I believe at that point, Quark should have nine points. Should. Technically, right? Yeah. Quark should have nine points at that point. If Team Yoji picks Betray. And there's nobody, there's gonna be nobody to oppose, um, uh, nobody to oppose Team Yoji because, well, Luna is dead. Luna is dead. God damn, God damn it. Alice is dead. Now Luna's dead again. This is so depressing. This is depressing as all hell, man. I like Luna. I like Luna a lot. Alice, I don't dislike either. But Luna, I really like. Now, I guess the question, the matter of the question is, uh, what are we gonna pick this time around? We need to talk to Kay about this. Took a deep breath and unlocked the AB room. No matter how hard I looked for answers, well, I found one more questions. Who had killed Alice and Luna? What was Quark? I wasn't in any kind of mood to play along with Zero's ridiculous games, but at this point, I didn't really have a choice. I'm calling right now, I'm calling right now. Quark is, uh, Quark was the one that did it. I'm calling right now, Quark was the one who did it. I heaved a silent sigh and started towards, uh, started towards the entrance to my AB room. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. You have 5 BP. 
If we both ally, then you will gain two points, leaving you with seven in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another two points, bringing you to nine. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain three points, for a total of eight. In other words, you will be unable to reach nine BP until the round following this one. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. True, bud. How many points do you have? Me? As I recall, you and Clover chose Betray in the first AP game. That means you should have 6 BP right now. If you betray me and get another 3, you could get, an all the w you could get all the way to 9 this round. Ah, yes, that is true. However, escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. But you picked Betray in the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety, as I only had 3 points at the time. The prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have 6 BP, I have some room for error. I almost want to get out of here as soon as, as soon as you possibly could. Of course I would like to, but attempting to do so would be unwise. Why's that? Isn't it obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. Huh? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten what Zero told us? The number 9 door only opens once! Once that happens, it's all over! It'll close for good after 9 seconds, so if you're not careful, you can get stuck. I trust you remember now? So someone opens it and escapes. Precisely. Did you not realize? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. Hey, don't, me your, don't tell me your plan to just leave us all in the lurch take out by yourself. I would never do that. Consider the following. If I did manage to get to 9 points before anyone else, do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? Especially knowing that, if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives? Well, no, of course we'd stop you. You see? Working toward leaving as a group is the most logical choice for me. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. Yeah, of course. You too. Ah, my god, okay. Hmm. What do we pick? What does one pick in this situation? <laughs>